here's a great tip for senior golfers. So, you know, that is kind of who I typically teach. I teach people that are probably, you know, 60 and above. I do teach some younger people, but my kind of wheelhouse is senior golfers. So I have literally seen it all. And what typically happens is, as you get older, you start getting weaker. So what do you do to hit a golf ball? Well, you start swinging harder. And I know that feels good. That feels like you gotta get some kind of power to hit the shot. So you're gonna try and hit it harder. There, you're looking in the wrong area. You're kind of doing it wrong. So when you go to hit hard, you tighten up. And <laughs> the tighter the golf club is, or sorry, the tighter your wrists are, the slower your club is gonna move. The more you're gonna do a chicken wing, you just kind of be hitting it off your, probably off your back foot, and that just will never work. Okay, so that is the wrong thought. We are not hitting anything. If I can stand here like this and do nothing and hit a pretty good shot, probably, I don't know, 240, 250, with just using the looseness, then maybe there's a different way to do it. And that's the way you want to kind of learn. Okay, so what I would refer to that as is more of a swing that is long and loose instead of short and fast, okay? Short and fast, that's gonna be you locked up, okay? Anytime I demonstrate a swing that is short back here, I have to swing 100%. And after literally about two balls, my body is just killing me. That's why I'm saying the short one, fine for young players. Okay, they're young enough, you know, I don't like it too short, but you know, they can get away with a shorter swing. They're putting a lot of energy into it and they can get it. But as you get older, I'm telling you that short swing is never going to work. And it's only going to get worse because we're not going to get any stronger as we get older. Okay, we're only going to get weaker. But on the flip side of that, you've seen little kids hit long shots. Well, they're not strong. But a little kid, you know, I'm talking six or eight years old, they're not gonna do a little tiny swing, okay? They're gonna go like this, okay? Because the club's heavy. They're gonna drag it back. Okay, here we go. Now at this moment, they use their legs and hips to hit the ball. So the little kid would be doing long and loose. Long, backswing, loose not short and fast, okay? So that's how I want you to think. We got a swing that is gonna be long and loose. So how are you gonna lengthen your swing? And I am telling you, <laughs> this is senior golfer after senior golfer that I see is short and fast. So this is a huge problem, okay? So we gotta lengthen our backswing somehow. Well, what I like people to do is overdo the length of the backswing, knowing you're not gonna do it that long in reality. Okay, so an easy one would be, watch for the club head out of the corner of this uh, forward eye right here. So watch, if I go like this, I'm looking for that club head. See that club head right there? I, there it is, right there, see? Right there, got it. In reality, you're not gonna swing that long, but that would be a great way to know you're doing a longer backswing. So you're starting to go longer so you can loosen it up. And then longer gives you more time to generate the club head speed for when we hit the ball, okay? You go like this, obviously, you're not gonna see that club head. It's up there, too short, okay? Long and loose for senior golfers. So here, long, long, I see it. I see it, maybe you do that three times, 
then you try to copy it when you hit your shot. Okay, I didn't see the club head on that one. So that wasn't quite as long. So that's just a very simple way to be constantly working on lengthening your swing. You do that at the range. You could do that at home in practice swings. Just sit there and go, hey, you know what? This little swing I'm doing here, it's not really working to the best of my ability. I know I can hit it a lot longer, so I'm actually gonna try this longer thing. Long and loose. So I'm gonna go, oh, like that. Just sit around the house and start getting used to it. You could even watch yourself in a mirror. If it's a little past parallel, who cares? I'm telling you, you will not go super long in reality. People always go less. So you practice a little longer by seeing it out of the corner of your eye. Then you step up and just try to copy that feeling when you hit the ball. Okay, so try, start doing that and start to loosen up. Okay, haven't you ever hit a shot that felt like nothing and went a mile? Yeah, that's loose. Okay, you had to have been loose because you felt effortless. So that's the swing we want. You know someone that you could be watching too, maybe on videos, Bobby Jones. He's the perfect example of long and loose. You know, that's the swing he had and he was phenomenal. So why don't we start doing that instead of this young person swing? It's gonna take every ounce of energy you've got, okay? Just do it a different way and then, in no time, you'll be getting long straight shots with an effortless feeling. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's going to help you improve your swing. Now, right below that, don't forget to click on that link because I'm going to send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.